welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. It is time for Whip and Waffle Thursday, walking in the rain. Um, so Thursday is my Whip and Waffle with a more challenging ongoing project. Um, this one is more challenging on the basis that it has 192 colours absolutely loving it so far though um i i've sort of started with it this way round if you can see if you can see uh, this is the middle so i am very very nearly halfway through what i would consider halfway through the schematic is on both sides so that's not going to make it a lopsided kind of deal and the reason I have decided to show you this way is I am going to try working on it this time flat um, I meant to do it last week uh, and completely forgot um, I know there is a comment that I'm probably going to read today because I've, I've had a glance at comments but I know there is one that I am likely to read today that mentions that as the easel was tipped down a little bit it wasn't quite as glary um, however it my easel does end up going on the lowest setting uh, when it goes lower than that it goes flat <laughs> so I thought let's try a flat version today um, and let me know what you think. Now, I am actually fi filming things a little bit early this week um, because it was Mother's Day last weekend, which is normally when I film. I normally film at the weekend for the following week. Anybody that's followed me for a while will know that. <coughs> but it is Mother's Day weekend. It is also launch weekend for the shop so in with all of that equals one busy mama um, I'm actually going out with my girls and stuff so I'm filming this a little bit early I do still have comments to read um, I'm actually filming this before last week's went out which feels so wrong to me. Um, it is not normal that I film it, should we say, that early. Um, but Karis is off work today. It is the ideal time for me to get extra filming in. And I have already filmed everything else I need to film for the week. So rather than try and squeeze this in on the weekend, I thought, well, I've still got a, I've still got a whip and waffles worth of comments. I've got a chunk worth of comments, so let's just go for it. Right, I have got my light pad underneath, as you may be able to tell, as it's now turned on. I've got my comments, and especially for this flower section, which is what we seem to be working on again using my tray that has all my yellow symbols, blue symbols and red symbols on. Um, sorry, I should have maybe shown you that before I zoomed out. Uh, definitely is working. Um, I say, especially for this section. The only time I haven't particularly followed using this tray first first is there has been a couple of sections mainly at the other end where I have a big patch of colour that has none of these yellow symbols in coloured symbols in and then I have just a little bit that then goes into the coloured sections um, so what I tend to do on those is I have sorry let me get those three in place um, yeah, when it comes to those, what I tend to have done is done the sort of big patch of colour and then when I get to the point where it's got the symbols in different colours, I then switch over um, and sort of start the process. Um, so I have uncovered a bigger section than I normally would for one 
days diamond painting. Um, however, as I'm filming this, I am still working on this one. In the meantime, if anybody saw my kitting up video from earlier this week, that is in no way the way I figured my decision wheel would go, my kitting up video would go. It just went completely in a different direction to I ever imagined it would. <laughs> Um, so you may know I now have two 30 by 40 paintings to work on um, just because of the way the, the way it worked, the way it worked and I'm completely going with it um, but I am still working a little bit on walking in the rain even though I have or I will be starting one of my 30 by 40s too. Um, I do like that week or two I have where walking in the rain gets a little bit more done. So if you may know, we started this row down, so this row of cover paper at the other end. So I've actually got a fair amount done in since I was last filming. I've got a few decent chunks of it done. Um, I don't know how much more I'm going to get done because of because it's launch week um, but I do want to get you know a, a couple more what should we say a couple more evening sessions into it which will normally get me three or four sheets of cover paper in this is two so two nights of, of two sheets of cover paper maybe uh, I do want to get a, a, few, a little bit more of the sections done before we go back to doing one section a week um, just in the whip and waffles until my current 30 by 40s are done and then we'll have another bit where it's a bit faster and then we'll go back um, to just having it one section a week for a bit. Um, I'm liking the way it's working out. I, I find it it means this project isn't going too long, doing only one section per week over a longer period of time. It potentially would have taken me half of the year, if not the full year to do. Um, and while we are in the third month and hitting halfway, it, it's probably not going to be, I say, a full on year long project or four years like my heaven and earth design was. It's more likely to be a good few months and then we can move on to my second heaven and earth design that I'm going to be starting from the beginning and I can work on that project for a bit. So I thought I'll uncover the full section, I'll go through all the comments that I still have, um, though of course I'll be a week behind next week, but I'll go through all the comments I have and at least get them up to date as of the day I'm filming. I'll be able to um, squeeze in some time with the kids for Mother's Day that's just passed in the UK, that was last Sunday, as you're watching this. Keep talking past, present, future. Order things. Um, yeah, I'll just do some of this. I've got quite a, a blocky part of black over here in a minute. So we'll sort of see how long it takes, how far it goes. I do have a coffee as well. So if you hear me slurping, I thought rather than sit down and drink a coffee before coming in and doing this whip and waffle because it was the last video I needed to do, I will um, bring my coffee with me and chat with you guys so make sure you've got your coffee tea drink of choice um, and yeah we can just enjoy a diamond painting session you will hear Luna bark possibly at some point um, because it is a weekday the postie is due soon to pick up today's orders uh, but on my breaks between filming because 
Carrots has been home. I have got all orders packed and ready. And yeah, I'm going to be doing launch prep tomorrow in real time. Just to confuse everybody with dates, uh, I'm going to be getting the last of the launch prep done while it's me and Luna tomorrow. And yeah, enjoy the weekend prepping more for launch because we never know final numbers until launch has happened. Things like cover paper, things like that. Um, I print an amount. I print, you know, a, a, not enough that is that covers all the cover paper we sell but I do do some of it to sort of break the back of it and then once we have the orders coming in over launch weekend uh, we do a little tally and I sort of prep any more cover paper logbook extras anything like that that's been sold with uh, make sure that we've got plenty of stock of those um, so that we can pack plus I am going pottery painting with my girls um, for Mother's Day so by getting all this filming done early it gives me chance to be able to do and enjoy the weekend at least take one thing off my plate for the weekend should we say <laughs> but yeah I've just I've just finished filming an unboxing for tomorrow uh, but the video before that was my kitting up video of my new whip that if you've seen it ended up let's say going in a completely different direction to anything I thought it would um, and resulted in me now having two um, whips <laughs> kitted up um, but two quick ones. So I am I am looking forward to getting a couple more paintings done and in my, should we say, in my books for being completed in 2024. A uh, couple of really old ones in my stash as well. Uh, I think they were both from 2020. Uh, so they have been in my stash for a while. So it's definitely nice to get those done. They've never been culled in my culling sessions because I have culled my diamond paintings a few times, trimmed them down. They've never met that fate. Um, so yeah, it's it's good to get, it will be good to get those done. Um, and yeah, one's round, one's square, so it gives me a nice bit of variety. I am planning on doing them one followed by the other, um, but if I do get bored of doing the round or bored of doing the square, I can always switch it up, which is actually really nice. So yeah, if you haven't seen that video, go and see it, because I don't quite, I, it's one I don't think I ever want to watch back. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't wait to read your guys' comments on whether things like that happen to you um, when you are deciding to kit up a project and whether things just go completely different to what you maybe expect. Um, I was also given tips on videos, I can't remember if it was this video, oh no, it might have been my preparation for my paint gem minis. Um, I was given tips on the decision wheel and how it's had an app update and how you get it to black out the choices that it's made is in a different place. So I do thank you for that. Uh, I didn't read them until after I had kitted up this last time. So I'll try and remember to mention it in my next update, my next decision wheel use, um, so that anybody else that is experiencing the same will know where to find it. Because even the first time it was explained, I couldn't find it. Um, so I'll be sure to, well, I'll try and remember to put that in my next video whenever I get 
uh, these 30 by 40s finished we've got quite a bit of blockiness quite a bit of black I am going to throw some more in uh, the black does have a bit more trash in than any other diamond which to be fair it pretty much every single company I find it is always the same uh, for trash in blacks and when I'm diamond painting in an evening and I'm sat there I have my little trash tray next to me and I will ditch them as I go in fact I should just grab one it's not like they're far away mm -hmm. um, but when I'm doing a whip and waffle sometimes I try to just avoid the trash drills and not actually should we say deal with them as I'm going along but maybe I should because it is what I do when I'm diamond painting on me Billy Todd uh, okay comments oh another drink of coffee first hang on caffeine is what keeps me going I am on a very very productive day today um, I haven't drunk more coffee than normal, but I am on a very productive day today with getting my filming done while I have the opportunity. So I want to make sure I can keep that going and I don't fade halfway through this whip and waffle. Okay, Lady Dax, she says, Pea Jelly has a big grin on her face that you are still loving your pen I do still love my pen so my rose pen um, from P Jelly absolutely love this um, I've only changed it up today because I feel like I should have variety so I've changed it up for the last two whip and waffles uh, for this one I've decided to grab one of our metal pens um, I've grabbed it in green they're a little bit thinner um, but I do really like varying what thickness of pen that I use between um, diamond painting sessions so I like the thick ones I also like these thin metal ones I also like the thinner resin pens um, but my favorite thing to do is sort of mix them up uh, I don't have a problem as such with my hands I don't have you know signs of arthritis or cramp from gripping diamond painting pens uh, but I also don't want it either so by changing up what pen I use each time I diamond paint or each couple of times I diamond paint is one fun because I get to choose in effect something new uh, to use something different to use so I find it fun to pick a tray and a pen to work on that day sometimes I pick the tray first and pick a pen that goes with it sometimes I pick the pen first and then I pick a tray to go with it um, but it's it's just kind of nice to have that little selection process um, I'm actually thinking because I have very nearly finished this row uh, when I finish this row I might ch even change up the cover paper I'm using on this painting not because I don't like the stars because I do uh, but because I'm taking the cover paper up anyway to move it so that I can get nice straight lines for myself because if I put cover paper over the top of this piece then when I take this piece up the piece underneath isn't necessarily in a very straight line um, so as I get to each row I normally move the cover paper up get myself a nice line like you can see here nice straight line to give me a straight edge for my next section um, so while I'm lifting it up I might even change my cover paper too um, just because why not I might even change it up each time um, because I feel like I can and then I get to cycle through lots and lots of different cover paper so if you find my cover paper changing that's why just because I want to um, 
but yeah I tried to change up my pens a bit and that's the only reason I'm not using the one from P Jelly again but I have used it a few times through the week uh, when I've been diamond painting it's a nice thin pen so I vary it up with some of my thick resin pens uh, she said yes, she thinks it's a great idea to use the Art Dot Storage for three paint gem sets. She said she wishes she had the space as she'd do the same. To be fair, the only reason I have the space for this to sit on my desk is because my desk is wider than what my camera catches, even when I'm zoomed fully out. So it can actually tuck in the far right hand corner of my desk um, and my desk apart from I have that art dots draw system in the far right and then I have um, a, a power bank in the, in the far left corner. Apart from that my desk is kept pretty much empty um, and for filming so it will occasionally when I'm sorting when I'm sat diamond painting it might get thrown this tray of diamonds on it uh, when I've finished doing all that colour in a section um, but then it will all get stacked next to my drafting table ready for my next diamond painting session when I tidy up uh, or I might pop a brew on this table while I'm diamond painting. But apart from that, it's because this is my filming table and it's not in the camera area is the only reason it gets to stay out. Um, I don't particularly have the shelf space to have it out permanently, especially when it didn't have a use. Um, now it's got a use. I potentially could put it on a shelf but I don't know where because my paint gem display books are already squeezing out my paint gem sets that I've not yet done so I already need to have a little bit of a mess about on my shelves and put those in a new place um, but yeah I'm enjoying having three sets of paint gems at the moment um, I like the fact that each one I go to get could be different to the one before um, so it like varies up which set I'm working on. I am enjoying that part. I am enjoying each time I grab a paint gem it's different um, even if it is one of three different sets. So for now um, unless something drastically changes uh, or something makes me change my mind on the way it's working, I will be doing three sets de-kitted and three sets kitted up. Um, but yeah, so far I'm liking it. Um, Lady Dax also said, she said she had to put away walking in the rain. Oh, she said because there is so much confetti, she is having trouble seeing the symbols. Uh, she says she needs new specs, uh, but she's not due her next test until May. Um, she's managing to do city streets in the snow as the confetti is not as dense. Oh, see, if you, I don't know if you use a light pad with it, but I find a light pad makes a huge difference on the confetti on this one the light pad has made it so much easier for me um, though I can imagine if you are needing new glasses um, that that could affect how well you can see the symbols because some of them are ever so slightly different there's actually two symbols that are exactly the same um, it's just the background colour that is different. Uh, one is brown and one is red. So it's not a huge difference either. However, the red one there isn't, or so far, I have not had very many of them. Uh, I've had more of the brown 
and I have been able to tell when it should have been red. Um, but yeah, it is the confetti in this flower part, especially. I haven't got to the lady yet, uh, but the flower part definitely has a lot more confetti. Um, quite a few sections that are still coming up for me that I've not yet reached. I can see the, the sky above the lady is actually um, quite blocky. So I should have some periods where I can do quite big blocks of colour. But across the bottom of the path and where the lady's walking, it's not blocky at all. Um, but I think outside the sweet shop is going to be even more confetti heavy. And that is what I will be doing after my heaven and earth design on a Thursday. So that might even be next year, actually. If we're thinking we're three months in, I mean, I know it's not a full three months, but it's close. Three months in and getting up to halfway through this one. And I have had a, quite a couple of decent weeks of doing it in the evening as well. So if I think we've got halfway with a few decent weeks of being able to diamond paint. So we have got blockiness to come. So maybe if we say it's going to be another three months, but that includes March. So that's March, April, May. Uh, we've then got June waffle. So I won't be doing a Thursday video on June waffle. So maybe we could get this finished before June Waffle um, and then start my Heaven and Earth Design Mini after June Waffle. But then that one is probably going to take me at least up until November before we start December Advent. So then we'll have a month of December Advent, which of course means I won't be starting outside the sweet shop until at least... 2025 I'd say if I'm being realistic I do like the idea of finishing this one by June though um, but I'm not going to hold myself to that until we get a little bit closer <laughs> until we get a little bit closer to it um, once I've got a few more rows in maybe once I'm three quarters of the way through I will start making my plans for my Heaven and Earth Design Mini um, and filming videos associated with that, ready to show you guys once this is finished and then we'll do a Heaven and Earth Design prep before we do type series. But we shall see. I'm getting ahead of myself. It's only March. We're only just starting to get nice days, of which today is one of them. Uh, it's nice and sunny outside. It's not freezing. It's in no way warm, but it's not freezing. Uh, and sometimes not having that icy wind uh, can make it feel as though we have a chance of spring coming. Which will be so good because I love spring absolutely love it um so it'd be nice to have some nice days i say this is just the day i'm filming it i definitely can't discuss what the weather's going to be like by the time you're seeing this uh, but i'm hoping that we have more spring than not for this year right i think i've got all the 310 we never know uh, but considering 310 is not a huge, thick symbol. Um, so when it comes to these coloured symbols, I don't necessarily go for the thickest symbol. So like this heart that is a lot of yellow. I go for the ones that I tend to be able to see easier. Um, and especially after finishing this black, Seeing the 939 is fairly easy for me because I'm again I'm just looking for a straight line. 
um, but I tend to find these, the four dots um, and the little chevron tend to be the ones I often start with um, and then I just go for whichever jumps out at me the most. Now it could be that when I'm looking down here something else jumps out at me but when I'm looking up here where I tend to start um, they're the ones that are jumping out at me. So I'm going for my 310939 which I did loads right at the beginning and then working my way through. Uh, Grey Legrand says she looks forward to seeing how I like my new arrangement of the pots. She says it made sense to her. Uh, yes, I am loving the new arrangement for the pots. Uh, I will definitely be doing the same arrangement when I get round to doing outside the sweet shop. Um, I will be putting the coloured symbols together and then the, the symbols that are black will go together. Um, because especially in very confetti areas, that's what I'm able to sort of what gets singled out to me. It might not work the same for other people, but I see the colour of the symbol um, as much as I see the shape. So I can actually very quite easily to me block out the look. Oh, I've just missed her. Just spotted one that I've missed as I tip them back in. Um, I can block out the black symbols when I'm looking at the coloured ones. Uh, and I can do it on a chart that uses black and white as well, that uses white symbols. Um, I can very much seem to focus on all the white symbols followed then by all the black symbols. So this definitely works better for me um, and it means I'm just working on one tray while I get rid of potentially loads of colours. Um, in this flower section definitely a lot of the colours are the yellow based ones uh, because of course the yellow and the blue um, are replacing the dark symbols because for Diamond Art Studios canvases they don't use white. So where you may have had a painting that had a white symbol on the coloured background, they have yellow and they always tended to be the darker colours anyway. So because this sort of flower area, until you get into the actual colours of the pink and purple flowers, is very dark. That's why there's a lot of these symbols here. So I do all the dark ones and then as we go on we end up with the prettier, prettier bright colours that add a little bit of sparkle. Right, I'm just going to finish up my drink before it goes too cold. Mm. I try not to make a noise when I swallow. That's why I don't always bring a brew in anymore. I feel like I'm too loud when I swallow. Um, and it's not the nicest sound to listen to, but okay, brew's done. <laughs> Jen, she says, once she's finished a painting, uh, she holds the canvas up to a bright light. She says, if the light shines through the canvas, she knows she has missed one or more diamonds. That is actually a very, very good idea. Um, a good way of figuring out if you've missed any um, because I do tend to find I miss less diamonds especially if I'm using the light pad um, but I don't automatically say whatever painting I'm working on the light pad goes on quite often if I can see the symbols clear enough I don't put the light pad on uh, when I was working on the other end of this painting and we weren't talking all these dark colours. Uh, it was it was a big patch of, of red, I think, red and orange. I didn't actually turn the light pad on for that part at all. Just didn't bother um, because it was it was light enough for me to see the symbols. And then when I got to the point where I was getting to 
the colours that were yellow and blue symbols, then I turned the light pad on. So, yeah, holding it up to a light or running it, running the whole canvas over your light pad, I can see is a mighty fine idea. Uh, all things crafty by Kaz. She says hi. She says hope all is well with you and your family. It is. Thank you. She said hubby and herself have just come back from a photo shoot. She said they thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, they, she knows she put herself on a no buy, um, but she caved. That's why I don't put myself on a no buy. Uh, she says she's purchased a white Christmas from Dreamer Design. She says she can't wait to get it. You won't regret it. That is one amazing paper painting. Um, still one of my favourites. I say one of, it was, you know, one of the paintings that pushed its way in on my kitting up list due to level of excitement. Um, but yeah, it is still a painting that I absolutely adore. Um, and I can't wait to put it up next Christmas as well. Makes me excited to put up my Christmas decorations. Uh, two kids at 2.10 uh, says, Hi Rebecca, she said this is the first time she's left a comment uh, as she is a silent stalker uh, and she just watches my videos. Uh, she says, when you briefly talked about paint gem minis, she said she finally bit the bullet and bought her first two sets this morning. She says when she received an email uh, that was sent out about receiving a free mystery set with the purchase of any regular set. Oh, I missed that one. I missed that, that little sneak peek. Though, then again, I have them all, so... <laughs> probably wouldn't have helped me but I'm glad it helped you. Uh, she says now she is just waiting for them to arrive. Well if there's any consolation mine have arrived super quick and I am in the UK uh, but I have found they've turned up really really quickly. Um, I have actually had them here for uh, a week or two before they got unboxed but that's just due to my schedule. Um, but yeah, it's very, very, very exciting that they, when they arrive, I absolutely love them. I often film my unboxing videos for them a little bit earlier than my schedule, just so that I can get my mitts on them and see what they are. And then I get the enjoyment again when I finally get round to kitting them up um, when my decision wheel finally picks them. Um, she says they will certainly give us something to do while she is at work uh, as a caregiver working the overnight shift. Perfect. They are an ideal set for like transporting or for on the go, for taking with you when you get to somewhere or are going somewhere that you can diamond paint so much easier than taking a full on a full you know full size diamond painting that's for sure um so yeah a great option for that one they really have hit a nice little niche in the market i know they're not for everybody um but they have hit that little little spot in the market and i'm so glad they keep coming up with new designs all the time. It amazes me the things they keep coming up with um, but it excites me at the same time um, because the ones that I've just um, unkitted as well are just so different but so I'm so excited to do them but for different reasons um, and yeah that's why I like them. Janita <laughs> uh, she says she's getting nothing done Oh, she says she's been, hang on, where was I? Oh, I was like, that lost then where I was trailing my 
series of dots. Um, she says she's been unwell with a kidney infection. Ooh. Uh, so the antibiotics, she says, are not sitting very well. She's been ill for over two weeks already. Oh, ill for a few days is rotten enough. But when it gets even longer, it's just like, can you finish already? I hope you are feeling better by now. By the time you get to read this, it will have been another week and a half or so since, well, even more than that, probably a couple of weeks since you commented. So I do really, really hope you are heading in the right direction to feeling better. Um, because, yeah, there's nothing worse. Feeling lousy is not fun at all. Uh, Kim, she says, ah, this is the comment I was mentioning earlier. She said, when you lowered the easel, um, it took the shine off the diamond, she said, so we could see the drills a little bit better. She says, maybe you don't have to work on it completely flat, but lowered a level. She says, thanks for your great waffle. Um, yeah, that actual lowering of the easel, um, it basically, even though I may have had hold of it, so it still looked like it was an angle, uh, it's still basically flat. Um, I have it on the lowest level when I'm in here diamond painting. I actually have it on the next level up when I sit on my little table in the conservatory and diamond paint. Right, just checking, I've got all my four dotters before I switch over to my next one. I may have missed one. I do still miss ones, even when I'm working this way. Uh, but I do find I am hitting more. I'm missing less of them. So that's always good. Uh, Anastasia says, 2024 has been a crazy start for her. Um, she says she left a toxic friend group behind. Woohoo! Definitely the way to go. Um, she says then she had issues with her eyes suddenly, uh, which needed immediate laser surgery. Ooh, I hope it did the job. Um, and then two rounds of laser surgery later, and things are looking up for the right eye. Woohoo! Uh, but she needs to get the left eye checked. So good that things are on the mend for the right eye. Uh, so this past Tuesday, she had all four wisdom teeth extracted. Oh my goodness me. Um, after waiting for 10 months, she says, here's to hoping um, that all of this is happening now for a better future. Yes. Let the rest of 2024 be good to you. Get it all over and done with in the first few months. And now hopefully things will be better. Because that is a matter of getting all curveballs curve thrown at you at once. Right, just doing a reassess. I don't, I because I am putting the tray over my diamonds because I'm working flat. Um, I do like to give a quick check that I'm not covering anything up that I need before I plod on trying to get all these chevrons. I think these often stand out for me because there's so many of them. In the last few sections that I've worked on, it's not like there's only been one or two. Because if there's only been one or two, I get them later on. I actually had it with black in a section I was working on. It was only a couple. So I actually didn't do them until near the end of, of the symbols that are within the colours um, because they didn't stand out the same. But these ones are definitely standing out today. Um, Summertime says my current whip is a custom for their dad's electrical company. Um, it's their logo. Uh, and she hopes to give it them for their 30th anniversary in 2026. 
Uh, so she got it in December thinking that it would take them a really long time to finish. Uh, but they must say it's only been since December and it's about 80% done. Uh, I think they've done well for themselves. You have. That is some forward planning uh, and some good forward planning. Um, to make sure that you've got it, it's prepared, you've had plenty of time to do it, thinking it would take you a really long time. Um, and I do think you pick up your speed as you're going along with diamond paintings as well. As you start getting familiar with symbols and the way your diamonds may be laid out in your storage and the excitement of getting near the end and all that sort of stuff definitely does speed things up um, and just diamond painting for longer having done the hobby for longer can help you get faster as well um, but yeah that's amazing forward planning I'd be lucky if I know what I'm doing tomorrow no I do know what I'm doing tomorrow <laughs> only because I'm prepping for launch but otherwise quite often I don't know what I'm doing the next day outside of my usual emails orders admin stuff so yeah well done you uh, Crystal B she says she hello she says she has kitted up a few paintings in her art dot drawers. Uh, she said she loves how much more she can kit up. Um, she has 15 of the drawers, so she can use them for kits and for ABs. I like that idea. See, if I didn't use the full depth of my desk, or if I had a desk that was maybe as deep as the desk I have in the Admores S shop, so it actually had some more depth to it that is not used so like I'm using the full length of my desk now having this painting on it um, but if I was we've got two desks in the shop one that's used for sit down prep and one that's used for more stand up packing and sometimes prep but um, only the bigger th the things that need the space um, but on that one, um, I have a really, really nice amount of depth. I have a nice, decent size space um, to pack orders and a space to put orders that have been packed. If I had that sort of deep of a desk, I, I, I completely get it would be lovely to have lined up the drawer sets with paintings kitted up or your enhancement drills that you want to get hold of. Um, so that you can either chop and change or just if you know if you do sit down at your desk you sit down and you grab your trays of diamonds and off you go and it'd be really easy to tidy up and put away again at the end because you just pop the drawers back in um, so yeah I really really like that idea and while I may take, you know, while mine is to the right of my desk, it's not sort of in the back, it's not in front of me. Um, but I do love the fact I can grab the drawers and they've got a home to go back to that is made just for them. And it's not on a shelf that I could dump something else in the meantime that I've thrown back into my craft room and not tidied up properly. Because contrary to popular belief, um, there is often occasions where there's a couple of shelves in my craft room that are for, you know, either things I need to unbox or things that need to be de-kitted or um, little bits and pieces. There's some bits and pieces that I've picked up for a tips and tricks video that sort of it floats around. Um, and while I do have a couple of shelves for things to go on, it's not quite enough shelves for the stuff that I sometimes have. Um, depending on how many videos I'm about to do, need extra bits. But sometimes there just frankly is not enough. Uh, so it can get rather chaotic. So being able to put my Paint Gem Mini Diamonds back um, and it's the only thing that can belong there is, is definitely helping. Um, 
though I have filled up the shelf that my paint gem mini sets used to be stored on. When they weren't in those drawers, that shelf has already been taken over by pending filming pieces, bits and pieces. <coughs> uh, Carrie, Carrie's Godland says another wonderful waffle. Thank you. That the painting is looking awesome so far. Uh, so far, they haven't had any change after getting the date. Daith, Daith piece of piercing for their migraines. Oh, that's good. In I was kind of hoping that that would be the magic, magic switch for you. Uh, they're still having them daily and pretty bad. Oh no, that's even worse. Like ideal world, that would have been your little miracle that would have just changed your life for the better. Um. This week, though, they're also dealing with a kidney stone. Oh. Um, they were in the emergency room on Wednesday for it. Uh, got some fluids and pain medication to help. Um, orders from the urologist are to push fluids and use the pain meds needed uh, until they pass. Um, so, yay, right, lol? Exactly. It's like, yeah, that, does, that doesn't help me. Do you want to come and hold my hand? <laughs> um, 2024 hasn't been the best for them. Um, yeah, by far. Um, as they have written that comment, the next day, the March the 2nd, is their birthday. Uh, so they're hoping for less pain. Well, happy birthday for the 2nd. Uh, and I hope being an extra year older. In some way, helps some of the issues um, that you're facing go away. <coughs> and they said thank you again for all you do and your videos. Uh, when they're having bad days and down days, um, they just binge some of my videos. Well, I hope the last few weeks have been helpful for you with a mammoth kitting up video. That was definitely one of the longest videos I've done in a while um, for the paint gem sets. So I hope that helped to keep you company through a bit. Um, and maybe you got to laugh at my um, my latest kitting up video, which went in a completely different way. It nearly was seven minutes long. It was nearly, that's it, I'm done, seven minutes long, see you later. We've got a kitten up video that took no time at all. <laughs> because it must be one of those weeks for me. Even though I am having a very, very productive day today, it doesn't mean that things always go exactly the way I expect them to. Right, I'm sort of working on symbols now that jump out at me. I must say I do look over this side a little bit quicker uh, than I do the other side. So if something over here is jumping out at you, uh, then it may be that I'm looking in a completely different place. Um, I do still very often automatically go bottom left or at least left of the painting. Um, and sort of work my way across. Um, now I think I'm a little bit focused on blue. I seem to have moved off yellow and focused on blue again because I think there's been a lot of the blue symbols on the left hand side but we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, Kira says, Kira Shepherd says, they enjoy my videos quite a lot. Thank you. Um, they've recently got a couple of canvases from Diamond Art Club, uh, which they absolutely love. Uh, they also can't wait for their, to begin on their paint gem minis. They got two for the price of one. Always a bargain, worth giving them a go. Uh, they said, so excited. They said, on a sad note, they have to stop acquiring them for a while. 
Um, they have recently lost their job um, and they were on an allowance um, as it was. But now they don't have any money to spare as their husband is the only breadwinner. Um, their health is also a challenge right now. So they'll live their diamond painting fantasy through me and other people from the diamond painting community. That is, I'm so sorry. It's awful when things like that happen and sort of upend, upend your world, should we say upend your life as it is at the time and change things in a way you don't necessarily want them to. Um, I'm happy that you have been able to get some diamond paintings beforehand. Um, you know, even if it's not the best outcome, you have some diamond paintings and some new nice quality diamond paintings to be able to keep you going for a bit and hopefully things will get better. Uh, I do definitely seem to be focused on the blue by the way. Blue symbols just in case you're wondering. I seem to still very much be focused in on them. I've just spotted one chevron that I missed. Uh, that if, if I had any second tray with a coloured symbol left out in it when I'm doing these flowers, if I was only allowed one tray, uh, I would definitely do it with that chevron. Because while they do jump out at me, because there's been so many of them to do, there is always the odd one that I completely miss. And I say, I've just spotted one that I have. Oh, nearly, nearly miss one of those. Possibly still miss one. Yes, up there. And there. I'm on a roll. Okay, I'm doing a very big look for blue. I only have one more blue symbol to do. Uh, Susan, she says she's still playing catch up. Um, she says another wonderful whip and waffle to keep her company while diamond painting. She says thank you so much for sharing. Well, thank you for watching. Even if you're on catch up, it's nice to know that you are getting some diamond painting time in within that catch up time. Uh, and you're going to do some diamond painting yourself. Uh, Bex, she says, lining the air fryer with baking paper will help with cleanup. That is an idea. I mean, to be fair, the air fryer is not hard to clean. It is one of the easiest things to clean. Even if hand washing it, we do, we, ours can be put in the dishwasher, which I didn't find out for ages. But when I did, it's been very good to know. Um, and it has been nice to give it, you know, what you could call a little bit more of a thorough clean every now and then. Or what I like to call a more thorough clean every now and then. Um, but, yeah, lining it with baking paper. We even have some of those silicon drop-in things as well. But the girls just don't like using them. But yeah, it goes swings and roundabouts. I find it needs cleaning either all the time or I have a week where it just doesn't get touched. It's really weird. Um, Jerry says she has ordered and received the Art Dropped 4 drawer system. She says she currently has two paintings kitted up in them uh, with two drawers each because one of them is 65 colours and the other is 61 colours. She says she hasn't started either of them uh, and she'll wait and see what her decision wheel picks for her next whip. I do like the idea of some big kits kitted up. If you scrapbook, if you, not scrapbook, if you diamond paint at a desk, there is another one. Uh, if you diamond paint at a desk, um, you know, that has 
shelves or you know is a flat desk whether you work on an easel on that desk or not if you work on a desk I do really like the idea of having your paintings kitted up um, in those drawers especially like when you've said yours are 65 colours and 61 colours that is like just over one of those 60 bottle cases so yes while they're in two drawers but even getting two drawers out doesn't feel like it's taking up loads of space um so yeah i do definitely think they have their uses uh, i also think the drawer system has its uses without the bottles in it oh look there's two more there it's that chevron one again um yeah, I definitely think they have their uses, even if they didn't have the bottles in. I think, you know, the drawers and the tools and, you know, potentially popping your trays and stuff in some of the others. Or like I've got paint gem minis in one of them because uh, I've just taken the bottles out of that bottom one completely. Um, I think that really, really works. OK, I think I've got all of those. This is where I end up finding that some of the um, lighter ones, like the Chevron, it is a paler yellow, um, but I had so many of them. But they start jumping out at me more and more, the ones I've missed. And I know I should potentially not fill these in, knowing that I'm likely to find more, but I kind of can't help myself. <coughs> Okay, we've only got a couple more comments, so I'm going to go by comment length. Uh, this is just as I'm filming this, so I will be behind with comments um, by the time you're watching this, because I won't have read any from last week's, uh, because it hasn't yet gone live as I'm filming this. But these are the things I need to do occasionally to get a weekend off from filming, so... Apologies, but I do still think it's been a decent length, so that's all good. I'm actually going to get those two red ones. Um, Mysterious Day, she says she ended up watching uh, that week in three parts. Um, she's actually been sick the last few days. Oh, there's definitely some sickness going around in this group. Don't be passing it on. Uh, but there's definitely been... A fair bit of sickness going round a few a few people uh, said they believe that theirs is from a protein shake uh, they tried as they're actually lactose intolerant and um, so they have to be picky with them um, and they are they learned that they're allergic to monk fruit juice via an allergic reaction that actually took them two days to be fully over. Um, said, oh, well, I hate to waste them, um, but they've already done that to me twice. Yes, get rid, pass it on to somebody else, give it away if you need to. It's not worth putting you through that just to save waste. It really isn't. Pass it on to somebody, then it's not wasted. It's it's saving you, saving you from the yuckiness. Um, in other news, they said they have completed three budget rounds. Um, no, after complete, oh yeah, after completing three budget rounds, they have decided to treat themselves, um, treat themselves with Diamond Art Club Magic bus by Howie Green uh, and work back on their whip stash down afterwards. Uh, they've also scheduled a reading test for their GED uh, which will take place on the 22nd of March. Well all the best for that um, coming up. My days on what yes definitely we've got another whip and waffle before that one. Just check I'm not too far ahead of myself. So all the best with that when it comes uh, in case I don't get to another comment about it before then or if I forget how close a date we've got. 
um, I'm bad enough with dates on the actual day, never mind when I'm filming a few days before. Um, they've also decided to start putting fitness into her daily life, uh, as stress eating and not wanting to work out has killed the fitness that they had. Uh, that is something that is supposed to help in the grand scheme of things. Um, I can't I can't preach about fitness because even though I have heard all the things and I believe all the things, I don't do all the things. I don't do anywhere near as much as I should and I definitely feel that all the moving and walking about that I do um, is classed as my kind of fitness. And it is more than likely not enough. But is it changing anytime soon? Nope. <laughs> That's for sure. I know me, it's not changing anytime soon. Um, but yeah, I hope everything works out so much better for you. And get rid of those protein shakes. Get them gone. They are not worth it. Right, what else can we fit in? I've got two more comments. Um, craft artist, she says, hi, Rebecca. She said, loving your whip and waffles. Thank you. Uh, the walking in the rain painting that I'm doing, uh, they've said is looking great. Uh, it's too big a painting for them. Oh, I've actually got more of these than I thought. Um, too big a painting for them to do, but they are loving watching me working on it. You'll get there eventually. A big painting will draw you in somewhere along the line. Um, I actually love working on both. I, I quite often love the rendering of a big painting or the dramatic look of it once it's finished. Um, things like that. But they do take a lot longer to do. Um, so as disastrous as my kitting up was on Tuesday... Uh, and as much as there was, you know, a little level of disappointment that I wasn't, that the decision wheel didn't pick a big one. Uh, twice it had the option and it didn't pick a big one. Uh, but as much as that happened, um, I am happy to be working on some of my small ones because then I know the whole breakdown process and kitting up process will actually come around a lot quicker um, and I will have got another two paintings done um, which is always good uh, and then last but by no means least I think yeah actually only a few hours ago as I'm filming this this one was posted um, but it'll definitely be a lot longer than when I'm reading it out but Bev, she said, uh, she said she thought it was her, herself that set my mind whirring. She said, yes, I agree. Your storage needs to work in the space that you have. Uh, and she does have space for the four draw system. So Bev, if I'm hoping I've got this right, but Bev is the lady who is kitting up the likes of walking in the rain or outside the sweet shop one of the high colour paintings in the drawer system um, rather than the likes of the art dot case system that tears. Though these diamonds don't go back in that case um, when I am working on it each each night of the week. <laughs> these these um, inserts to the case are constantly out on my drafting table. Uh, they will be going back in, back away next week. Uh, so I'm gonna do a few more sections on this um, before I focus completely on the two paintings that, that have just been kitted up. Um, and then they will purely be my focus until they're done. Um, well, maybe with the paint gem mini, but you know, walking in the rain will only be done on my whip and waffle for a week or two. 
um, and then I will focus back on walking in the rain while waiting to get up my next one. Have I got all of those? Uh, she's so anyway she does have space for the four drawer system to be out which is fantastic uh, and I can completely see that working if you have the space to potentially even take them all out of the drawers so actually lay all four drawers out around you while you're working then I can completely see that drawer system working quite well especially if you can get the likes of the colours um, like these these ones that are yellow and blue and red um, all in one drawer I could see that working even better uh, because you can have one drawer out and then you can ditch it and have the other potential three drawers with um, just the black ones in various groupings to whatever suits you uh, and I can see that working really well. Uh, she says she also plans on going to town on labels for front of the drawers too. Uh, she said, to be fair, she said she thinks one of the reasons uh, for buying outside the sweet shop, she says, was the fun she would have arranging everything. So there we go. It was outside the sweet shop, not walking in the rain that she's doing. Um, I don't blame you. I can imagine that could be very exciting, actually, especially if you can get some of the labels on the front of the drawers so you know which drawer you're going for according to, you know, whatever symbol it is that you may need. Um, yeah, I can imagine that working out really, really well. So, yeah, if you've got the space for it and stuff, system works will work really well whereas for me the fact of actually taking a drawer out with one paint gem mini painting and taking it with me into the conservatory uh, works better for me than putting the likes of outside the sweet shop in it um, this case works really well for that for me especially now I've rearranged my symbols Right, I'm going to call it done there. Uh, I have not quite finished this whole case of diamonds. Um, I actually still have two more, I think, to do, unless I've missed any. I have the yellow eight, and I've just spotted one little yellow square that's in with the pink. So I have two more bottles to do on here. And then the rest of them are black symbols, which I will probably do sat down this evening, finish up that section, and then I'll change my cover paper and make it nice and pretty. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for joining me for this whip and waffle. Uh, do join me for the next one. We'll see how much further I may have gotten. Uh, but yeah, I will speak to you all again soon.